experience unmatched luxury eyewear in the heart of Colombo with Aditya. This well-known brand that has been hailing in Anuradhapura now in the heart of Colombo, providing you amazing service to give you cure for mind, body and soul. Visit them where you get a chance to experience a one-on-one -on -one session with doctors and find the treatment that will really rejuvenate you and bring out the best in you. Located in the heart, they have amazing programs to offer you, including amazing scrumptious meal that goes with what they are serving. Danu on fire, powered by. Celeste Daly. Missing something? She's a Celeste. I just say it. Welcome to Dano on Fire right here on High TV, your luxury channel. Today we have something really special. We're speaking to someone who needs no introduction. We have fallen in love with his personality on TV. He has uh, not only uh, gained fame through his television appearances on MasterChef Australia, but he's also a world-renowned chef. I'm so very happy to have Gary. Thank you for being here. It's a pleasure. Uh, I and we've met a couple of times, I but only digitally. Know, digitally. Digitally. It's never the same. There was nothing to touch or feel. <laughs> it was just very far away. <laughs> yeah. But now that you're here, how, how, how do you like Sri Lanka? I, you know what? Mm. I'm, ask me in 10 days' time. Because I'm, you know, I've arrived 36 hours ago at 1 o'clock in the morning, dived into the kitchen. I went out to the markets this morning, which was okay. nice. So, you know, I've kind of I've been staring out the hotel window. Just so, to see. Yeah, just to see. But, you know, uh, my wife and daughter are arriving on Sunday and mm. we're going up country, we're going to Candy, uh, we're going to jump on the railway, we're going to see elephants, a uh, bit of beach. Great. Um, hopefully eat a bit more, you know, a bit of street food and, you know, I think then... Do the street food for the last. I think that... Well, just in case? Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, yeah, I think then ask me. You know, I think um, okay, I'll ask you in ten days. But before yeah. that, how how have you liked the people? You have the, you oh, have the, met you the, have like, even stepping off the plane. Yeah, the warmth is obvious. Like people are so respectful, so warm, so lovely, and I've been stopped lots. In the, yeah. I didn't realize my chef was so popular God, here. You're a star. My God, I told you the ladies didn't are realize. all going to be here. I didn't know. Oh my God. So people just keep coming up and saying hi, and can I have a photo? But in yeah. a very different way, very very respectful, and yeah. also know that um, once I've had a photo, they just they just go thank. <laughs> Thanks. That's what they're just See you later. To, they've used you as a prop. They've <laughs> used me. We saw Gary. Click, send it to all their friends and they're off. But I quite like that. You yeah, because often you'll chat to people and they want to tell you your their life story. Life story. Which is nice sometimes, yeah. but other times you're like, I'm terribly sorry, I'm in a hurry. Yeah. But yeah, so so far so good. And here, obviously, a hotel of this size, like the cinnamon, is is like a, a town in itself. Mm. Yeah. Guess and staff. Okay. So and also cinnamon lovely. is like it's the best place for people watching. I've discovered that. Yes, already. you I just like come, sit. sit. You can quietly, find everything here. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's but, um, You know what's nice is that if you're working in the kitchen, other than you know, unlike say if I came on holiday, I wouldn't be in the kitchen. I wouldn't be speaking to the staff, and so you just get a one-sided view of what's going on. Everything's luxury and lovely and mm. whatever, and particular type of guests. Whereas when I'm in the kitchen, these are my tribe. Mm. You know, they're the people that are. You know, yeah. what do you do? Where do you live? Where do you go to eat? You know, all yeah. these kind of things. Have you have you been, been out? Part? No. Uh, have you been taught a word or? Uh, all I, no. Nothing. I, and a couple of words and then I just forget them. Uh. You've got to keep saying them to I me. know, I know. Because I said, what's please, what's thank you, what's hello. So. Did you hear a word called as as Stuti? Stuti, yeah. yeah that's the one. That's good enough. You can but you know what? I, I always figure when you go to a country, you need to be able to ask for a drink and for food. You know, so I would like that's and then whatever. We might take this whole show for me to teach you that. It could take more than this show. <laughs> So well, that's a problem. <laughs> now I'm going to ask you something. Gary, you know, we have seen you on TV and we, you know, you, like, I was speaking to my sister about, we, she loves food, she loves to cook and so we have, all, genuinely, we have followed the show. Yeah. She said, you know, Gary is the type you want to settle down with. 
Oh, I like that one. Yeah, that's what. So we Asians think for like home and company. You're one of those. I'm home you and fall company. Into that, I'm you comfortable, fall into that. reliable, and trustworthy. Yeah, <laughs> that's. I don't you. know if that's great. I'm not like <laughs> tall, sexy, and I remember I was years ago. <laughs> I was on the beach in uh, Australia, so it was probably about ten years ago or something. Yeah. I was my daughter would have been like ten or twelve, and mm. you know we we're just going for a swim, and a family came up and said, "Can we have a photo?" And I said, "Really? <laughs> like really? <laughs> like you know, short." older chubby man <laughs> and they said oh it's fine i said i'd really don't please you know because i'm not you know yeah. i'm not your typical television you know gorgeousness and yeah. i think none of us were none of, i think you're pretty gorgeous no, i just have the table in front of me oh. yeah. but you know if you look at the three of us we you know as in george matt and i when MasterChef started we certainly weren't cut from the usual kind of television cloth yeah, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're we, a chef. Well, right? we were all terribly overweight. You know, we look really unhealthy, to be yeah. honest, in Series 1. And I think that's still going around in yeah, Sri Lanka, true. you know. So people look at me and they go, you same guy? I go, yeah, just, yeah. just older. Just older. <laughs> just older, just a little bit. But we you know. loved that. Yeah, I think I what, what we always loved was the fact that, and in, in kind of relation to what your sister said, is that people just treated us like a Somebody friend. from home, yeah. And so they'd go, hi, Gary, yeah. hi, Matt, you know, and my wife would go, who's that? And i go, don't know. i just say hi back. Yeah. So it was almost like, you know, I don't know, the, the guy that owns a shop down the road or, you know. They just felt comfortable in your presence. Always. As it was just a part Always. of their lives. And I love that. I uh, have to ask you, tell me something. You know, I've had many people from MasterChef who have been on the show. Yeah. Ones who may have not gone all the way, but they've yeah. got to the main kitchen. And um, I've always wanted to ask this. Tell me a secret that you can't tell about MasterChef, and in case you get sued, then I'll know that people are watching this show. God, a secret. What secrets? Yeah. What kind of secrets? You I know, want something that is controversial and you can't tell. And I want you to say it on the show. And if somebody is powerful enough to watch it and sue this program, I don't know, and I'm, you... Wait, I just can't think of anything. You, really? you might have to, yeah, I'll have to think about it. Controversial. My goodness. All what we see on TV, is it true? Do you all eat the food hot, hot? No, well, this, this is the thing. I suppose that people are always curious. Number one is the hour they get, for example, an hour. Is it rubbery? Is it actually yeah. an hour? The other thing is, do we eat hot food? That's always the first two questions. And the thing that, and I'm a big fan of the show. Like, I worked on it for 11 years. It was the best time of my life. Um, it was time to move on. Like, we were, we were seriously getting old in front of everybody's eyes. Mm -hmm. And I think you can do something for so long and love it and you owe it to a platform like that to always love it and be passionate. And if you're not, you owe it to everybody to, that is to get out. And so we exited stage left and we always promised ourselves that if one was gonna go, we were all gonna go. I was gonna go. And it was a bit of self-fulfilling prophecy. And I think I was probably the most pushy in terms of guys. How it's long, done. How, yeah. how long are we gonna do this for? Yeah. You know, because I love traveling, I like you know doing other things, other projects. Signed up. Yeah. And there in, on MasterChef, you're doing it for eight, nine months of the year. So in, in honestly, it's very collegiate, very, uh, the, the crew that used to work on it were absolutely brilliant. We had a rhythm, like we had a serious rhythm, and I think it was kind of obvious from day one that it seemed like we know we knew what we were doing. doing. Yeah. Because we, it was like this: you just chat, and because you love food and mm. you love life, then it's easy. Um, so that that I don't know if there's. I'm trying to think of control. It was more like little. You know what? The hour. The hour was always the hour. Um, the. Uh, the food at the start of the competition was never hot but room temperature because you can't taste 20 dishes. I know. Like if you're waiting, you know, it's going to be cool. But what we always did is if you were cooking and then we would say, do an extra little bit and For put you it on the side it, yeah, and okay. we'll just come along and taste it. And George and I knew, it. I could, you couldn't be preparing a dish in front of me and I already know. Is really? it too salty, too vinegary, too whatever? I go, yeah. and that's why we used to come up and go, are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that's those bits? Yeah, I know. Are you sure those you want to do that? scary ones. And, and you then, just leave them completely just leave puzzled. Them. Yeah, but I then sometimes, oh, there's a secret. Here's a secret. So sometimes we would walk out of frame, you know, when I'd step out yeah. from behind the camera and go, no, no, don't do it. <laughs> and the exec producer would come in and go, Gaz, Gaz, <laughs> leave them alone. And I go, don't do it. <laughs> but, you oh, know, but often they would always do it. Oh. You know, they just push through. And it wasn't until yeah. the end of the competition where you'd go, are you sure you want to do that? And then they'd go, really? You do think it's a good idea? I'm just saying to think about it. Just think about it. There and you. there you go. That's how you leave those people mm. completely messed. Right, I'm going to come back after the break uh, to speak more. But we are here at London Grill at Cinnamon Grand Colombo. It's Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts that are doing this fabulous mm. experience with this wonderful man. When we do come back, I'm going to speak a little bit more. But the TikTok sensation did get hold of him as well. The three of them did.
So beautiful. So elegant. So we are going to do that TikTok on this show. So beautiful. So elegant. Just looking like a wow. Just looking like a wow. Experience unmatched luxury eyewear in the heart of Colombo with Aditya, this well-known brand that has been hailing in Anuradhapura, now in the heart of Colombo, providing you amazing service to give you cure for mind, body and soul. Visit them where you get a chance to experience a one-on-one -on -one session with doctors and find the treatment that will really rejuvenate you and bring out the best in you. Located in the heart, they have amazing programs to offer you, including amazing scrumptious meal that goes with what they are serving. Danu on fire, powered by. Celeste Daly. Missing something? Just Celeste. I just say it. Welcome back to the show in conversation with this amazing man all the way from Australia. Uh, well, it seems very Sri Lankan to me. Uh, you are. What does? You. I seem Sri Lankan. Yeah. You have that vibe is about it, you. Is it? It's your sense of humour. Oh, yeah, that's no, true. No, you know what it is? You know when you meet good people and they're fun and that's what it is. And also you need to be chunky. I'm chunky. <laughs> yeah. I've chunky people are always chunky. fun, yeah. Occasionally I show, I show people a little picture of mine when I was about 16 years old. You know, that time when I had abs? Yeah. They went away a long time ago. <laughs> My abs are yet to see the world, but that's that's a totally different topic. Mm. Now, let's speak about your time here. What made you say yes to Sri Lanka? I've been trying to come for a long time. Oh, so really? even before uh, COVID, so if we probably rewind to about 2016, I think George came. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and he raved about it. Mm. I, I met him. Yeah. I don't think he remembers me, but yeah. We might be surprised. He's got oh, a good, really? Yeah, he's got a good memory, George. Uh. Um, and actually, Matt Preston's got a memory like an elephant. He remembers everything. But you have to attach it to food. Right, okay. So you have to go, or a drink. Right. And he can recall everything around that, right. that moment. It's like a trigger. Um, but yeah, it would, it would be... And I don't know why it's escaped me, to be honest, because I've got lots of Sri Lankan friends. One of my closest friends was Sri Lankan, even going back 30 years. So, yeah, it's a strange thing. Um, and I actually got offered a job here uh, many years ago at the Hilton Colombo, would have yeah. been about the early 90s, but right. it were troubled times. Right. And I just went ridiculous. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not coming to Colombo. Yeah. <laughs> I think something had just happened. We won't talk about it. Mm. And I was like, no, I don't want to go. So yeah, it's funny how it's escaped me. So I'm really pleased. I've been looking forward to this. Oh, that's amazing. And it's also really, it's a great time for Sri Lanka. I think we have come through some very terrible Tough times. times. Tough times. And now it's just all about yeah. taking off and seeing the better part of life. Yeah. Um, it changes people's attitudes a bit, doesn't it? I know. It, it does, and I think it, it's, it, it's not a bad thing. And I've been asked lots of questions about, you know, food and the direct, you know, which ways, it, you know, which ways Sri Lankan food's going. I can't answer it. I think, you know, what's nice as a tourist, stepping off the plane, everybody's so welcoming, you, you feel like you're, straight away you're on holiday, you know you're in for something special, so that's nice. Yeah. People are looking for that. And you might have tasted a lot of Sri Lankan food in terms of MasterChef as well, where they say this sure. is a Sri Lankan curry sure. and like the whole pole sambola, which, yeah. which has become very popular on it. Um, would you tell me why do you think the whole the MasterChef brand became so part of Australia, although across all the other countries they do it. But you know, the world fell in love with the three of you and yeah. the concept in Aussie. I think we were the antithesis of uh, normal reality television. There's always a, you know, we're judges. You're the you're the good judge. I'm the bad yeah. judge, and you know it's fairly formulaic. And um, I think a, another thing too is that the producers, the exec producers um, of the show, were very clever in terms of number one pushing a, you know, broad format or uh, free to wear cooking show that was sized up beyond anything at the time. Mm. So MasterChef in the UK, very colloquial, small, you know, quite, you know, gentle show. Yeah. We turned it into something kind of big and fab and interesting. And I think it was a bit of a masterstroke with the three of us, you know, as the hosts. Mm. Only because they picked us because we all got on. Well, mm. they picked Matt Preston because he was 
just larger than life. He was life. just, there's only one Matt Preston, yeah. larger <laughs> than life. And they just, once I think they saw him and the suits, they just went, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, for, but for sure, they picked George and I because we knew each other. You know, we, we talked freely about food. Um, the fact that we were, you know, great cooks, chefs, whatever was a given, and that we could, you know, it's easy. Mm. And, but, the, but to be able to take that uh, to an audience is something different. So they picked up on that. And I think just that deferring a question to someone else is unusual in television. Because mm. you just want to be, yeah. I'm the star. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what I think. Yeah. Whereas we would just automatically go, what do you reckon? Mm. And then you'd have a proper conversation about something. It is also a, a snapshot of Australian society. It's very diverse, multicultural. You know, we've got a, you know, if you think about it, our population, other than our, you know, First Nations uh, peoples, uh, all through immigration. True. You know, so Greek, Italian, Vietnamese, Indian, Sri Lankan, Sudanese, you name it. They're all there. They're all there. And they're all Australian. Mm. So you get to see, and this is the pleasure of eating food in Australia, is that uh, we tie on a Friday, you know, pizza on a Saturday, mm. Vietnamese on a Sunday, roast chicken on a Monday, you know, like pork curry on a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it's, yeah, that's how we eat. And mm. I often, you know, with my family, I go, what do you want to eat? Yeah. And they'll go, yeah, I want to eat rice paper rolls. Or I want to eat, I want pasta, yeah. you know. Or and I you have tacos. everything there. Yeah. All the options are available because yeah. it's so, yeah. So I think from a, from a t in short, you know, when people watch that, well, they're like, oh, this wonderful. Is it really like that? Mm. Are you really like that? Does everybody get on? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you know, there are chefs and there are chefs. And there are some people who just, you know, nail that. You know, they become iconic in what they do. Everyone serves food, but there's something special about one or two people that mm. makes them just sure. stand out. What is it in you when you were growing up? What is, did you ever feel like you'll get here? Do you feel that, you know, cooking is where you want to be? I don't feel like a standout. I think, you know, there are, you know, when we use the term master chef to apply to chefs, there are very few of them around the world. Mm. You know, there could be Rene Redzepi or, you know, Thomas Keller. You know, there are very few, you know, original creators, thinkers, masterminds of this industry. Mm. Everybody else does. And I'm a doer, you know, like I actually don't feel bad about that. Like I'm a technician, you know, I always have been. Even the first restaurant that I worked for at the Connell Hotel was classic French haute cuisine. It was about doing everything perfectly. Those recipes were earned through hard work, mm. not free on the Downloading internet. It. There were nothing, no downloading oh, yeah. back then. <laughs> so there's something, and I love that, it, you know, rather than artist as technician or craftsman. And so I see the pleasure in someone throwing a perfect, a perfect paratha or roti or, you know, like yeah. skill, like serious skill. I'm like, wow, that's, mm. I love that stuff. Um, to, I think the lucky thing, I think my dad said, you know, you gotta shut up for a minute and listen. Like you always say, you never learn anything while you're talking. talking. But I've always talked and I love teaching people. And I think, I've got this ability to be able to pass on a bit of energy and a bit of enthusiasm, motivate people. That's why I did well as a, as a businessman or a restaurateur. Yeah. And you know, it's about encouraging other people. And often they're better than you are. Mm. And I like that. I don't have any issue uh, you know, in working with anybody that's better than I am. I go, well, you're better than I am, you do it. Yeah. And could you teach me? Yeah. I've never been embarrassed to ask, show me. And I can look silly once, but not the second or third, third time. time. So I yeah. love that learning. I don't know if that answers the question, but it's yeah. a, I've, I've never felt the need to be a celebrity or the need to be better than anybody else. I'm just enjoying the journey. This culinary world, when you got into it, what was your first job? Uh, well, if I rewind while I was at college or mm. deciding when I wanted to be a chef, I got a, a job in a local hotel close to where I lived. I used to ride my bicycle to the hotel. I was about 15 mm. and they put me as a, like a, a junior waiter, you know, mm. assisting, say right. you, and you'd have me running backwards and forwards no. the kitchen with trays of ingredients. And I hated working <laughs> in front of house because people were so rude. Yeah. I couldn't, I was too young to deal with it. I didn't yeah. have the, you know, people would say something to me and I never had a smart answer, <laughs> you know? Um, and I wanted to work in the kitchen and I used to watch this guy, this <laughs> chef, uh. who just seemed to be, you know, just knew everything. Just knew everything. He was in a rhythm. He was yeah. cooking things, and I was, I'd be sneaking into the kitchen and <laughs> dipping my fingers in things, going, "Oh, that's yum." And so eventually, I kept asking, 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 and he let me come in the kitchen uh, to help him on a Sunday lunch. And I remember doing the roast potatoes. That, that was, that was my job. But I loved those roast potatoes. I can still smell them. Oh wow! So yeah, 
Excellent. We're getting into a break. We'll come back on the other side with my favorite thing called dessert. We'll see you right after this. Experience unmatched luxury eyewear in the heart of Colombo with Aditya. This well-known brand that has been hailing in Andhradapura now in the heart of Colombo, providing you amazing service to give you cure for mind, body and soul. Visit them where you get a chance to experience a one-on-one -on -one session with doctors and find the treatment that will really rejuvenate you and bring out the best in you. Located in the heart, they have amazing programs to offer you, including amazing scrumptious meal that goes with what they are served. Danu on fire, powered by. Celeste Daly. Missing something? She's a Celeste. I just say it. Welcome back to the show, it's Down on Fire, final segment with this person who is here. <laughs> I thought you were going to go, you got distracted by the dessert. I was like, this well, dessert. <laughs> Talk to me, baby. Yeah, I know, Talk I know, me. I know. You know, I, I, I could just make this as my main course every single just time. Just dessert? Yeah, that's my, that's my... Why do you think, you know, this luscious body didn't just come my way? you got to work harder. I know. I, I go, there's a lot of money invested yeah, in this, no, baby. I do, I know. Yeah, why waste it? It's the upholstery. It's the top It's top quality upholstery. <laughs> You've got the full leather pack. That's what it is. Um, you know, I wanted to ask you, how are things at home? What do you mean? Yeah, are you the strict one or your wife is the strict one? Uh, mm, I think I'm the strict one. Really? You know, yeah, I, I probably am. And actually, my daughter left school. Uh, well, she now, she's 22 now, so she left at 18, four years. So she's been training as a nurse. Mm. And I always, and I have to stop myself from giving advice because kids don't, young people don't mm. want advice. Yeah, true. You know, they want to hear maybe your experience, and then they got to, they've got to live that experience themselves. Yeah. So yeah, I always, you know, I would be the one that come in and go, look, you know, a clean room, you know. <laughs> clean room, clean mind, you know, tidy <laughs> mind, clean tidy start. mind. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I know I, I went through this stage where I go, if you just make your bed in the morning, it just sets your day up. At least if everything goes wrong, it's that old idea yeah. of if everything goes wrong, at least you can come home and yeah. your bedroom study and yeah, and my wife would just go, Why? Just stop. <laughs> stop. And I go, sorry. <laughs> but I think travelling a lot the last few years, I think mm. certainly Mandy, my wife realize that I'm the tidy one, I'm the obsessive one, I'm oh. the I'm the neat I'm the sweep it sweeping up and putting things away right, and okay. taking stuff off bench tops. Um, I always have to wash up after dinner parties. Oh. You know, so people will leave and normal people go to bed. Yeah, you can't sleep until you can't. Oh, I have to wash up. I've actually got See that lovely scar there? Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. That was a very expensive wine glass that because I was drunk and, and I insisted on washing the wine glasses up. And it was one of those moments where I was like, you know, ping, and I went, oh, that didn't feel good. Anyway. Yeah, life, I tell you. You're one of those people who likes to keep things... Ordered. Yeah. That's I've got to be on time. Yeah. I oh. have to be on time. Oh, oh yeah. If, You'll hate us. I get, I get uh, anxious if oh, really? I'm late. Oh, if you live here, you'll, you'll just die of a palpitation. <laughs> We're always late. Yeah. No, yeah. I can't do it. Like if people say be there. Please, our presidents have set standards for us for be late 30 minutes late. Yeah. Wow, no, I can't yeah. do it. I'm always I'm always the guy loitering around outside oh, you're the because first I'm come. so early yeah. that it's embarrassing. So, people yeah. get late for weddings here. Yeah. No, couldn't do it. Well, that's it. I can't live here then, can I? <laughs> Let's see how you the trip goes. You just need to change just, your timeline. Relax. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, we always used to joke. Matt Preston is. Uh, he he always said to me. He goes, "I'm not a prisoner of time," and I said, "Really? Like we hadn't noticed?" <laughs> because he's always late for everything. He'll say, for example, Gaz. Like we might meet up and go yeah. for a drink, and he'll say, "Could you pick me up and mm. we'll head into the city together?" And I go, "No," uh -huh. because, <laughs> because I just I'll be there. <laughs> I'm early, and yeah. he'll be. 45 minutes later yeah. at least. I'll be sitting outside of his house, yeah. going, Suit hurry up. up. Get the whole glam going and... Yeah, and yeah. then finally, so I'll yeah. go, look, I'll meet you there. <laughs> That's how it works. Yeah, well, we are going to have some problems being friends. Probably, yeah. Oh no, uh, we just, we, we, we operate as friends, but just in our own timelines. Yeah. And what Matt will say is, don't worry, Gary will be there early, he'll buy the drinks and get everything sorted out. There you go. 
So even t today I was early. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, well, just you heard a, on the grapevine. It's a start. Yeah, it's a start. It's a start. And actually, Matt Preston would always be late. So maybe you know, as in, be the last man to leave the. The oh, bar. Okay. You know, like he'll say, you know, the owner, like, chuck me the keys, I'll lock the doors. Oh, one of those. Yeah, right. one of those. She's, no, she's, no, no, you no. don't do that? You're, no. a, you're away early? Yeah, I'm way early. I come late and I leave early. Okay. That's a great relationship. George actually taught me a great little trick, um, which I never realized he did, but I'll be chatting with someone, uh, or he'll be chatting with someone, and he'll go, Gaz, come over here. And I go, hi, how are you going? Yeah. And as you go, hi, how are you going? You <laughs> he goes. <laughs> and I go, how did he do that? <laughs> And then he'll, he'll just leave. Like yeah, he, he and you're just left with smokes him. the yeah. room. And I, I've, I learned from him, never tell anybody. If you yeah. need to go, never tell anybody you're leaving. You should not. Where are you going? I'm just going to the bar. Yeah. And never come back. Never. That's a, that's a great thing. I've learned that the hard way. Mm. Because when people are intoxicated, they hug you. And they're like, nah, oh, nah, nah, you nah. can't go stay yeah. and have another drink. I and there's know. always regret. I know. It's there's always, there's always shots don't and remember. regret. And yeah. they don't remember. No, they don't remember. That's true. Where were you? I was at the bar. I was talking to Brian all night. Brian who? Yeah. Can't remember. Uh, as drunk as a skunk. Uh, what time did you go? go? There you go. There you go. All you've, the secrets. You've huh? got you've got the art of it. Now, before you before you go, I have to ask you one final thing. Describe what you will tell the Australians about Sri Lanka and asking them to come back. Come home. Or come here. Wow. Aren't we gonna ask that in ten days time? Yeah, but for now? Oh, for now, I think first impressions, like my Mandy said to me, what's it like? I said, everybody's so lovely, mm. like so warm, so welcoming, so respectful. Um, you, can, you know that thing you were telling me about being late? You can sense there's a different pace. Yeah. I love that. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to blue skies and sandy beaches. That's Good amazing. That's I really can't wait for you to ex list. experience Sri Lanka to the fullest. I'm great. I'm, I'm so happy you're doing it with cinnamon. Mm. You know, literally, I live here. Not that I live here, but I but more or less here. live here, yeah. yeah. I shoot most of my shows here. You know what, I'm, I d maybe to put it another way, what I'm looking forward to, I'm hoping that it's going to become my new favourite favorite destination. You know, sometimes in, you know, when you, people go, what's your favourite place? Yeah. I'm look, Sri Lanka's been on the list for so long and I've heard so many good things that it's just one of those places where I hope, when I go back to Australia, people go, what do you think? And I go, yeah, got to go. And I'm going back in, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Let us know when you're back. We'll, we'll just do all this all over again. So, yeah, let's dig in. It's very fancy, this. You know, in Australia, we've become very simple. Our oh, food's really, really simple. Just just the food, that's it. Yeah, I think, yeah. you know, you know, we've got lots of little, you know, biscuits things, and crisps yeah. and things and yeah. flowers, which is lovely. I, you know, I look at the skills that the chefs in the kitchen are doing a great job. Like, right. wow, look at that canal, everything. I know, it's beautiful. All right, on so the note, we need to wrap things up. Thank you so very much. You have been absolutely amazing. Super. Uh, we will see you soon. Till then, you keep smiling. So, whatever you do, uh, I'm, I'm so happy that Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts really put these things together so that we get great people to come, be ambassadors of Sri Lanka when they go out there. So thank you so very much for being here. We will see you soon with another cool episode. Till then, keep smiling. So Experience unmatched luxury eyewear in the heart of Colombo with Aditya, this well-known brand that has been hailing in Andhradapura, now in the heart of Colombo, providing you amazing service to give you cure for mind, body and soul. Visit them where you get a chance to experience a one-on-one -on -one session with doctors and find the treatment that will really rejuvenate you and bring out the best in you. Located in the heart, they have amazing programs to offer you, including amazing scrumptious meal that goes with what they are served. Danu on fire, powered by... Celeste Daily. Missing something? Celeste.